Today you are his sheep. And if you're not, this is your moment. Maybe you're here and you don't know the Holy Spirit. Maybe you're here and you're caught up in fear and chaos is running your life and you want to get off the chaos train. Today, if you need out of the storm, you can rise above it, stand through it, or speak to it, and it'll end. Or you could just simply say, Jesus, come into my life, and he'll give you the power to overcome. And so today, if you need Jesus, you've never received him as your personal Lord and Savior, but you would like to know him, I just want to let you know this altar is open. Come now. Just rise, get out of your seat, and come. <clears throat> this young lady with her arms folded, sitting behind Pastor Armando, will you just rise? Yeah, you. <clears throat> Unless you don't want to hear what God's saying. You know what? You need to get out because you're trapped right now in life. Come out. Let her out. Let her out. Let her out. <clears throat> Can somebody help her maybe come up on the platform? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, man, church, this is a moment to stretch your hand. She's going to encounter the Holy Spirit. If you've never received Jesus, here's some prayer warriors that would love to pray with you stand before them and please minister to whomever comes what's your name dear hi Chantel just lift up your hands I want you to close your eyes because you need to get lost in presence you know what you're overwhelmed right now <clears throat> and if I need to hold your hands up I will Chantel this is what I heard the spirit of God say you're not defeated nor deflated. The cause is not lost and the purpose is not far. He said, it's hidden within you. He said, today I'm going to dislocate all of your pain. And I'm going to relocate healing in your mind and in your heart. God says, I'm going to take away anger and disappointment. And I'm going to bring your life into a place of divine alignment. There's times the Lord shows me <clears throat> that you're having an argument in your mind and no one's there. Because you're so afflicted. Because of the past. And this is part of the chaos that you were brought up in. But the Lord says today the spirit of God is going to come upon you. And it's going to remove all of this feeling. It's going to remove all of this feeling of hatred and anger and disappointment and rejection. And he's going to whisper how much he loves you. You are mine and I am yours. We are one. Receive my gift and be made free. Is now behind you because I'm in you and I'm over every area of your life and I will make you joyful. The day of sorrow has no hold. The day of promise comes upon you. There it is. Take it. Take it. I just release the presence. My goodness. He's here, Master Marco. <clears throat> I know we want to clap, but I don't even want to clap. You know why? Because I want to minister to as many people as I possibly can in this next few moments. You're wearing a like a leopard colored shirt right here. Second row, stand up. Shirt. She has hats. Sorry. <clears throat> I'll come back to you. This is what I heard the Spirit of God say. He said, you're not losing ground. 
He said, I'm applying tension because you're an arrow from my quiver and I have a purpose and a plan. An arrow can't spring forward unless it's first drawn back. God says, you think you're losing ground, but I'm only awakening you in the midst of the midnight hour, not to pray to go to sleep, but to say, speak, your servant hears. And God says, tonight when I awake you, two, three in the morning for this last week, he says, when I awake you, say, speak, and I'll fill you with words of wisdom and hope, and I'll show you the plans that I have for your family, and I will open my hand, and you will feel the suddenly of the Lord come upon you, and you will feel an exhilaration, and you'll realize that the ground you thought you last lost, you actually surpassed in the realm of the spirit. God says today the spirit of God is coming upon you and it's taking you into a new place where you will begin to see from the eyes of his victory. This is my promise to you, says the spirit of God. There is a gentleman. Where did he go? There he is. You're... You're wearing like a blue-gray shirt about six rows back. Goatee. You just look down. Stand up, sir. <clears throat> when I was worshiping, the Lord said, look back, and I saw you. And when I saw you, this is what he said. He said, tell him everything is about to turn around. <clears throat> when you go to the airport, some airports have a door that doesn't open when you come you have to push your way through it and it has many slots i literally saw god say this is his turnaround season you are about to enter into a door or a covenant that he didn't want you to and it seems like everything has what come to a halt everything has become frustrated but the Lord says it's because I would not let you enter into it because my spirit was protecting you. And so God says, feel the momentum. Feel the release of my spirit. Don't try and force it. Let me lead you and you will suddenly find yourself not going through the door, but spinning around, coming out the other side, and then a new door will be made open, one of my favor, one of my blessing, and you will see everything in your life transition. The day and the hour of disappointment will be behind you. The day of promise will be set before you. Reach out and grab hold of what I proclaim, says the Lord, and watch victory come to you and your household by my spirit says the spirit of God I'm telling you I didn't forget <clears throat> you in the hat just because I'm that kind of person I'm just gracious because I love God's people this is what I heard the spirit of God say he said this is your moment to breathe in deep because I want to bring you <laughs> to a soothing place he said cast your cares unto me for I care for you he said this is the day that I'll make the weak the mighty. And he says, there is a strength inside of you, but you can't do what I'm calling you to do in your strength. It's going to be the work of my spirit that comes upon you, that gives you the wisdom to handle the difficult. The spirit of God says, I am going to give you the spirit of wisdom for this is a new time where your mind will not solve the problem but your spirit god says i will make you wise like solomon who pulled out the sword to divide a child only to determine who the child rightfully belonged to god says the word of wisdom will come to you and you will become a solution to difficult problems and you will become an answer to those that are in need you will lead them out of despairs and troubles and trials and you will put them on the path of righteousness God says this last season that was difficult comes to an end and the season of new things comes upon you for you have crossed over into a brand new season rejoice 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 says the spirit of the Lord <clears throat> my goodness my good I just feel the love of God in this room right now I just feel an overwhelming sensation I'm feeling a draw this way. Somebody must be praying way over here. Who is it? <clears throat> I saw someone earlier when I walked in. God highlighted someone to me right in this area. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There she is. This young lady with the long hair over her shoulder and the guy with the hat, the gray and black. 
Y'all know each other? Okay, that's what I thought. Come here, both of you. Hurry. <clears throat> hurry, hurry, hurry. You can come up here on the platform. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. See, you never know when God's going to highlight somebody. When I was walking in, I looked and I saw the guy in the hat and the Lord says, you have a word for them. I didn't even see her. I saw him. What's your name? Hi, Isaac. Your name? Jordan. Jordan. Oh, your name means descender and your name means laughter. So God is going to take you down and raise you up in laughter. And that's good because this last season hasn't been easy. <laughs> Sound like someone's like, okay, sorry. <clears throat> From her said, crazy. Anyways, this is what I heard the Spirit of God say. He said, son, this is the season where the favor of God is going to come upon your life. And what you touch, I'm going to prosper. He says, the Joseph's presence is all over you. You're a man that's skilled with his hands. You're a man that's a creative thinker. You're not meant to always work for someone, but God is going to raise you up so others work for you. God says, you're not looking to work harder. You're looking to work smarter. But now God says, what you need is to listen to my spirit because I have filled you with thoughts and ideas. But the Lord says, it's your time to put things down on paper and start writing out the vision. I don't know why, but I saw you in a dream and I saw you saying, honey, God wants to do something bigger in our life. I'm not quite sure what it was, but I saw us moving into a big space. And I heard the spirit of God say, this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to create room for you. The Bible says a man's gift makes room for them, but it's not just makes room by squeezing into a tight place. It literally means he will make a space that no one lives in, put you in it, and then fill it with others. Can I tell you what God showed me? You are called to train and equip a generation of young ladies. You are called to love those that have given up, restore hope to them. And God says, I'm going to use the two of you to help finance the growth of the kingdom. God says, I want to bless what your hands touch because I want to use the gift of, of, of training and equipping a people to be successful. I want to use the two of you to become voices that partner with the vision of the house to help expand and reach a generation. God says something inside of you is crying out for this generation that's being educated by the ways of the doctrines of the world. But God says inside of you, there is thoughts of how you could bring this to an end and teach righteousness and truth. God says, son, get ready because you're about to go on a quest for truth. And in this, you're going to discover that God has many plans. And in these plans, he's going to show you where prosperity lies to advance the kingdom. I heard the spirit of God say, get ready because this is an appointed time where you will dream again. Visions will come to you. Your passions will rise up and you will say yes to the things of God. He says, daughter, your prayers have been heard. I'm over your circumstance situation. I filled your house with power. Listen to the spirit as it cries out. Come on, someone say yes. Young lady jumping up and down. You caught me. Come here. Hallelujah. Just come right here. Just run up, run up, run up. I'm telling you right now, if I call you, move as quickly as you possibly can. <laughs> Hallelujah. What's your name? Just lift up your hands. What's your name? Kiki? Kiki? Hi, Kiki, this is what I heard the Spirit of the Lord say. I'm going to overwhelm you with joy, and you're going to become an infectious smile to those that are around you. He says, you're going to bring laughter. When you walk into a room, you fill it with joy. God says, your feet are meant to dance. Your heart is built for the run. You're not a, you're not a sprinter. You're a marathoner. God says, you're somebody that sinks your heart into a thing, and you don't let it go. you got a bite that's ferocious to hold on to the promises that God has given you. God says, you have been crying out for him to speak to you. The Lord says, not only am I speaking to you, I'm going to speak through you. The spirit of prophecy is strong on the inside of you. I'm going to equip you. I'm going to train you. I'm going to pour out and you're going to help others hear my voice. You're going to become a word of encouragement, a messenger of life, a word a hope, and you're going to change ah, a people for my glory, says the spirit of God. Hey! My goodness. Hallelujah. I just sense the goodness of God in this room right now. 
She has a, a, a blue flannel on with an orange, uh, I forget what they're called, whatever they're, lanyard, thank you. I can think of all these Greek and Hebrew words, but I can't think of lanyard, oh my God. Hallelujah. Here, I'm going to come down because I can't handle it anymore. I just need you to lift up your hands because healing is your portion. Healing is coming over your mind. Healing coming over your heart. Your spirit is about to be made free. The days where your mind still goes back to the reverted pains. It's over. There's times where you weep and you're in sadness because of your past, but you're living in the present. And God says, today I'm going to free you from your past so you can move out of your present and into your future. God says, like David, I'm going to give you the power to reach your hand into the brook. The word brook is the word that means inheritance. David's inheritance is not behind him. It was before him. And you've been caught up in the past, but now you need to reach into the future and grab hold of the promise. And David pulled out five smooth stones. He pulled out grace. And guess what? He put it in his bag and he put one in his sling and he went and slayed a giant. God says today, close your eyes and see your giant falling. Close your eyes and see your giant falling. <laughs> Grab hold of your future. It is before you this day. Say that again. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm telling you, you are a spark plug of fire. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. I'm telling you. Hold up your hands. I heard the Lord say, I'm about to fill you with a dream that's far bigger than a visit. I'm about to fill you with a dream that's far bigger than a visit. Not too long ago, you dreamt a dream and you saw yourself in the land of Africa. You saw yourself building huts. You saw yourself helping dig wells. You saw yourself doing way more. You saw yourself looking over the house and facilitating. And you began to say, Lord, is this you? And he said, of course it's me. He says, as a little girl, you dreamt of foreign lands. As a little girl, you always wanted to be on the run. You had something called motion. God says, I'm putting momentum in you. He says, I am preparing you for this. I am preparing you for your heart to say yes. Because what you're going to see and encounter counter is not going to be describable. You're going to come back. I saw you on this stage when you're testifying, weeping and crying. I saw all the stuff coming out. Your heart was so overwhelmed with compassion and you cried out and our people heard you and say, we got to go back. We got to go back. We got to go back. And the vision, the vision expanded. I hear the spirit of God say, I'm expanding everything that you're seeing because the work is great in the nation and there is a need. And when you saw the need you said yes I'll feel it yes I'll meet it and because you're one that's willing to say yes I'm willing to bless don't worry I will send up and equip a team and a people that will partner with you so you may feel like God is this me all alone no the Lord says I'm raising up a company I'm raising up a, a, a house within a family and together we're going to partner and take the land God says a new day has come upon you one that is filling you with hope with vision with with impartation, with grace, with sovereignty to touch a generation. I'm telling you, sir, her heart has been love bit. Something on the inside of you just says, God, so be it. Here I am. Use me. God says, son, get ready because you're going to lay hands on sick. You're going to lay hands on the hurting. You want the move of God. You want the move of the spirit. God says, get ready. You're going to literally lay hand. Put your hand on your own head. Watch this. You're going to literally, you're going to lay hands and the sovereignty of God is going to come out of those hands and set them free. See, he didn't realize his hands contained that much power. When you're out out there I literally see you saying God I don't feel good lay your hands and then you're well I see others that are sick hurting in back and body limb and you're going to say God can touch that and you're going to touch them and the mighty presence of God is going to come this is a season of impartation it's a season of faith the Holy Spirit is taking you he wants to wreck everything he wants to make you drunk in the spirit woozy full of love he wants you to be overwhelmed with grace for these nations. Hey. See now. She's getting it. It's a whole nother level. I know it seems a little weird huh. Okay good. What's your name? 
Lisa, this is what I heard the Spirit of God say. I just want to fill your heart with joy. Well, come here. I said, I heard the Lord say, I want to fill her heart with joy. She said, that's all I want. And so, well, then you heard him. See, she heard him. But see, now watch this. Every time God speaks to you, it, it requires a response, even if it's said or unspoken. So God wants to fill her with joy. Then she should have said, fill me with joy and started laughing. Call the things that aren't as though they were. In heaven, everything is made well. She's full of joy from the heavens. Can I tell you, she didn't come from her mom and her dad. She came through them. She came from heaven, and she has the right to ascend into joy. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is her strength. The joy. The joy. The joy. I speak to the fountains of the deep spring up. I speak to the rains of the heavens come down. I say fill her with laughter. Father, let her be like Isaac. Everywhere she goes, well sprung up and joy fountain. I declare, Lord, where the fountain of the Lord is, there is blessing. There is joy. There is presence. I release joy into her spirit, into her life. When she gets up, let joy be on her expression and let the world see it. Come on, if you believe it, say yes. Ah. This gentleman right here, come here. You, 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 you. And you in the green hair, you're next. You with the green hair, yes. Who, me? Yes. The only one with green hair. What's your name? Hi, Jesse. This is what I heard the Spirit of the Lord say. He said, this is a season where I'm making you strong from the inside out. He said, your mind won't waver left nor right. He said, you're like the palm tree. You'll bend, but you're not going to break. The day of you feeling like I can't is over. God says, I'm going to cause you to ascend to a higher place. Recognize where you're seated. And from the heavenlies, you will see. And from the heavenlies, you'll speak. And you will see incomplete things become complete. Everything that has been fighting with this last season is because you need to make a decision. God says the decision will end the chaos. Where there is no decision, the winds of chaos blow. But God says, I'm going to give you the power to say yes to a thing no to a thing and you're going to have the power to say God this is what I sense you have said and it will be God says no longer will you dwell in that indecision you will be firm like a judge I will give you the power to put the gavel down and you will see the winds of chaos be no more and there you will see your family healed there you will see uh, roots of Catholicism through your lineage be broken and you will see the goodness of God come into your household and fill your house with glory he said son get ready for this is a day of new beginnings, a day where all things change, a day where everything is made new. Ha, give me your hand. This is what I hear the Spirit of the Lord say. I'm advancing you. He said, this is a day where you cannot sit in an old place. This is a day where you can't stay stagnant. He says, I'm moving you forward. He said, you can't do what you did last week, let alone last six months, let alone uh, last year. God says, I'm doing a new thing in you and for your family. He said, I'm about to be the God that provides and makes all things well. I heard the Spirit of God say, I want to heal your family. I want to set them free from emotional distress. I'm going to send my whisper over their voice over them by my voice in the house that is full of chaos will suddenly come into peace. God says you won't dwell in a place of iniquity. You won't dwell. You won't dwell in a place of chaos. You will dwell in the righteousness for I am the righteousness that fills your house and out of you says the Lord. The breath of my spirit will flow over your family and into their hearts and set them at liberty. He said a new day has come. A day of victory. I'm breaking the old and I'm setting you at liberty. It's a new day and I'm doing a new thing he said don't doubt it just walk in it and rejoice you will see your family in 2023 mightily shape hey God I'm telling you <laughs> increase is the word for this house in 2023 increase can I tell you can I prophesy that you need to begin to declare add another zero I don't know who I'm talking to but at the end of a thing add another zero if you make if you're you're believing God for a, a specific amount add another zero pastor this is the add another zero year he said I'm gonna add 
uh, I'm going to add in great measure. I'm going to add in my goodness and mercy. I'm going to add unto this house like unprecedented times. You will see as others struggle, you will flourish. You will see as the economy of the world seems to tank that you will be blessed. Provision for this house. Provision for this house. It has come. Add another zero. If you believe it, say yes. Wow. Ah. God wants you to add. Increase is this problem. <laughs> My God, I'm not trying to preach, but you got to begin to recite Genesis 128. Be fruitful in what? Now you know why you're adding a zero. Because the only way you're fruitful is if you understand dominion. <laughs> Can I prophesy to each and every one of you? Dominion is coming to your house. The right to rule, the right to reign, the right to overcome. Come on, if you receive that, say yes! You got to add a zero. You got to think that. Somebody needs to write a shirt, make a shirt. Add a zero. 2023. <laughs> The wealth untold wants to be given. God's favor, grace, blessing, it just wants to come. Why? Because God always gives to those who are faithful. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit. I'm telling you, Pastor, I just saw this. You talked about pruning. In the back room. And the Lord says, not only is there a pruning, there's a promotion that's coming to certain individuals in the house. He said, in years past, he said, in years past, we found those that were faithful. But he said, in this present year, you won't find faithful to promote. He said, you'll find fruitful. He said, look for the fruitful man. Look for the fruitful woman and put them over areas that have been pruned or areas that are struggling and fruit produces fruit. God says, this is the year that you will find fruitful people, assign them in places and positions and they will cause multiplication. They will cause great increase. For the Lord says, as you've sent out your best, I will raise up those and make them quality leaders. God says, a new dimension of leaders are being raised up. It's those that are fruitful. God says you will see them add and multiply and bring joy to the house. Get ready. A season of joy has been released. Come on. If you believe that, say, oh, yeah. What's your name? Grab my hand. Hallelujah. I just heard the Lord say this is the year that I'm pulling you up to the high place. Remember Moses? God asked him a question. What do you have in your hand? He said, my staff. He said, throw it on the floor. Throw it on the ground. And when he threw it on the ground, it became a serpent. And what did he do? He ran from it. This, this last season, there were some things that were around you that caused you to back up. But God says, pick it up. Pick it up. And he said, pick it up by what? The tail. I hear the Spirit of God say, you're going to grab this thing by the tail. Because you know what the tail represents? The end of a thing. God says, the thing that created a fear, a panic in your heart, he said, I'm giving you the tail of it, the end. It will be no more. He said, that thing that was a serpent will be no more. That thing that was a lie will be no more. The thing that created fear will be no more. The thing that hurt will be no more. You're grabbing the end of it. And it turned back into a staff. Another word for a staff is a story stick. And it's a testimony of all the great things that God has done. I don't know why, but I see you at a table or a desk. And I see you writing down all the things that God has done in the midst of the storm. And God says, when you focus on what I've done, the storm will dissipate and be no more. The Lord says, I gave you the power to seize it. And it is no more. He said, I am causing your dreams to rise. And he says, I'm going to give you the power to grab hold of it. He said, remember when the son of the prophet cut down the tree, lost his axe head, and it sank to the bottom. 
He says, I threw a branch in there and it rose up. And I said, take it. And he took it. The word to take means be victorious. I need you to close your eyes. And with this hand that I'm holding. Are you right-handed? You're right-handed, right? That's what I felt. So right hand is the right hand of power. I'm going to let go of your hand. And I want you just to pick up. But you're not picking up an axe head. You're picking up victory. You're picking up your testimony of overcoming. On the count of three, I just want you to grab hold of that thing like you own it and it's rightfully yours. One, two, three. <sighs> now, according to our faith, let it be done. Come on, somebody say yes. Can I pray for you? I'm right here. Just lift up your hands. My goodness. You just need... A touch of the Holy Spirit. She's going to get overwhelmed by the goodness. I see tears starting to drip and formulate in her heart. And I heard the Lord say, you've learned how to be strong for everybody else. But the Lord says, I didn't ask you to be strong. He said, when you are weak, I am your strength. He said, today it's okay to be weak in my present because weak doesn't mean failure. He says, weak means you trust me. He said, today, trust me. And this is the beginning of wisdom. I'm taking you on a journey, says the Lord. And it's not a journey down. It's a journey up to the high place where you will see where you were rightfully seated in the heavenlies. And as I cause you to ascend, you'll no longer allow sorrow to settle in your heart. You will no longer see through the eyes of what is fractured or broken, feeling lesser. He says, you will ascend and see from above with eyes of clarity. You'll look over the mountain, not at it. And he says, remember when the servant came out of the tent of the prophet? He only saw the soldiers. But when he went in the tent, the prophet prayed. His eyes were open, and he saw what the prophet saw. And it was a mountain covered with angelic glory. God says, today, you're going to see angels and presence of glory. You're going to see victory and not struggle. You're going to see from a posture and a position that I have designated for you. If that was for you, say, oh yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, my God, his presence is just here. Do you notice we didn't have to manufacture it, didn't have to work for it. It was, our eyes became open and it came. She has her hand on her chest. She has like a gray shirt, long hair. Will you stand dear? Thank you. I just want you to put your hand up. <clears throat> Maybe the young lady next to you. Can you put your, your hand on her belly for me? This is what I heard the Spirit of God say. I'm breaking open the fountains of the deep. And I'm going to cause the wellsprings of life to spring up in your favor. God says when the wells spring up, everything is made pure. When something is clean, we wash it. When something is dirty, we wash it and it's made clean. God says, I am going to cause the wells of revival, the wells of love, the wells of God to spring up through you. And it's going to fall on your family. It's going to come on those that have been living in the nature of Adam, the dirty man. And God says, I'm going to cleanse them. I'm going to use your hands, says the Lord, to lay upon the hands and the heads of a people and their eyes will be open and their hearts will be changed and their ways will be transformed. God says, I'm stirring a new thing for out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I saw from the heavens 
hands, a crystal river flowing over you. It's a crystal pure water, a water of refreshing. This is the day where everything changes. Not only will you go home and rest tonight, you will wake up refreshed in the morning. The days of sleepless nights, the nights where your body goes to sleep tired and wakes up as tired as it went to sleep is over. God says peace will come. Peace is here. Peace is now. It is yours. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Just give them a shout right there. Say yes. I send the word. There it goes. Ah. Golly. There it went. It hit her. He's so good, Pastor Marcos. He's so good. I just, I'll pray for one more. Is that okay? Just, I had. I know that I can see, and I, every time I look, I see someone. So I just got to close my eyes. <laughs> this young lady with the glasses on her head, she knew. <laughs> the other day, I did a marriage conference. <laughs> and I don't know if you've ever heard of a man by the name of Dennis Gaxiola. He is hilarious. He's a Christian comic doing big things. Well, there is a gentleman that was wearing like a green sparkly jacket with a hat with ears growing out. I mean, yellow fluorescent socks and shorts. I mean, he was dressed to be seen or recognized, noticed. So, you you know, you do something like put your glasses on your head. It's like when you're scanning, that's something you're going to notice. I'm just letting you know how you could get the prophet's attention because I'm kind of ADD and I'm like looking around and I'm like, Oh, zero in on something crazy. Remember, remember this guy was the bandana guy last time. I remember you. He's a rapper. I still remember. You're a rapper. You sing. You, you, now I, I even saw your video and I shared it, matter of fact. So <clears throat> get behind your artists. Get behind your people that are doing some things. Come on. So anyways, what's your name? Kimmy? Hi, Kimmy. I just wanted to tell you one simple thing. God loves you. You need to hear this. You're in a season of transformation. You have battled with old things for a long time, especially self-esteem. For during COVID, I literally saw you with anxieties. And all they wanted to do was pump medication in you. But you know what I saw? I saw the Lord reach down and touch you. And for some reason, I saw you turn on music. And you turned it on louder. And the louder you turned it, the more joy came. And I heard the Lord say, this is crazy. He said, I declare to you, this is your crank it up loud season. And I saw you dancing in your room. I saw you dancing it out, literally just. But I'd much rather see you there than where I saw you during COVID. I saw you at a time look at yourself in the mirror with the water running hot. I saw the mirror fogging up. And that's when you smiled when you couldn't see yourself. You were so overwhelmed with a lie that you thought there is no beauty in you. But the Lord says, I'm clearing the fog. I'm removing the lie. And I'm establishing a worshiper in you. God says, in a season not far from now, you're going to start writing again. You're going to start writing words that are poetic. And if you put them In the hands of those that are skilled in music, they will have a musical tone to them and they'll be sang. God says, you're a writer by nature, but you lack confidence that your words are worthy to be heard. But God says there'll be someone that will help put it to a guitar riff and sing what you wrote. 
and it will awaken the confidence to your gifting. And suddenly, a generation will be touched by the things that you write. I'm awakening the gift of the writer. Musicianship, I will awaken. Let it be cranked up loud, and you will see things, hear things, and write them under the toolage of the Spirit, bringing life to a generation. This is my promise to you, says the Spirit of the Lord. Come on, somebody say, oh, yeah. I'll stand up. How many received something from God today, whether it's encouragement or a word? And, and we'll bring Prophet Rob again. And I think we need to bring him to a God encounter on Saturday so we can have three or four hours. Literally, he will pray for everybody. I mean, that's what he will do, give a prophetic word. So we're, we're going to save that for another time. But how many received something from God already? It's like, okay, I needed this, okay? Receive the joy, right? Receive the rest. Receive the promotions. Add the other zero. Come on. Right? Receive the freedom. For some of you, make the decision. Because God's waiting. Come on. Do it. It's going to happen. I got you. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you. We receive every word that you've given us tonight, Father. Father. And we just thank the Lord the words are sealed. And that means whatever you said, Father, whatever word you sent out will come back, accomplish. Mission accomplished. It's done. We receive it now. We thank you, Lord. And as we go home, protect everyone here. They go home safely. They have a good night's rest. Some of us, a lot of us will come back Saturday and we're going to just receive every dose of the Holy Spirit that you have for us. Holy Spirit month. We're ready, Lord. Just like you told them to wait, wait in the upper room, we're willing to wait in a room for your Holy... I know we went over today, but there's a time when we have to wait for the Spirit of God to move. And I just thank you, Lord, that we'll be a church that Father God be willing to wait to see a great move of God. This Saturday is going to be a waiting room, an upper room, and we're going to see your Holy Spirit fall. We thank you, Jesus, and we pray. Amen. God bless you, church. Pick up your kids. I know the children's ministry is probably going crazy right now. But thank you, guys. Tell the children's ministry, thank you for keeping my kids a little longer. They'll need that. You need prayer? Come on up. For those that came up for salvation, this is your moment. They'll pray with you, the prayer of salvation, okay? God bless you guys.